Yo, spot him, we got him. Spot him, spot him, spot him, spot him, spot him, we got him. We back with another video. Tarnish, how y'all doing? Welcome back. Thank you, come again. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, bro. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something very unique for all of you Clover Retribution players, bro. We're gonna be talking about every single boss within the game. Dungeons, raids, and world bosses now event bosses is something else you don't really need them because the drops are really whack but if you do want an event video i'll post a little short bro it's really not that crazy you know but those are the main ones that we focused on today you will be seeing pictures of them and their stats what they look like what boss drops them all that fun stuff but before we even get into this this video is about to take me a very long time it's gonna take me a long time to edit so make sure you subscribe bro Join the family on the road to 19k. If like three, four hundred of y'all could subscribe. That would be great. That would be great. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to hit, I'm trying to hit four, four. What is it? Um, I said four. I'm trying to hit 20k. You know, enough yapping. All right, let's get started. So for those players that just get started, the first boss you're going to fight is the wolf boss, which is what gives you your first broom. So, in order to get your first broom, bro, you gotta go talk to this guy right here. I think it's this guy. You talk to this guy, he's gonna send you somewhere up there. You feel me? And when you talk to him, he's gonna send you up here. So, if y'all want to, y'all can slow down the video, you know, or try to follow these traces, and then y'all get yourselves up this way also. So, now, with the Alpha Wolf, what does the Alpha Wolf drop? The Alpha Wolf drops the Alpha Wolf Scarf, Wolf Fur, Alpha, Alpha Wolf Hammer, um... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Lupin. Lupin Shadow Plate. I don't think I'm saying that right, but title drops Wolf Slayer. And then you get Soul Fragments and then the Soul, the, the soul of Wisdom. I don't know if that's a title or if that's something else. But we're going to put the items on the screen for y'all. And, you know, etc, etc. And now we got the Ogre. So this is the spot where you get the Wolf. He also roars and stuff like that. <laughs> know what the hell is going on and now on to the ogre the ogre he he drops he's like on the right side from the wolf so ogre there's also a quest for him that you can do is located in the village if y'all care about that but this video is really just about drops and boss locations um this this boss drops and this is for like lower levels if you if y'all want to ever know what it is but these bosses drop iron, old adventurous spear, ogre bone spike. Um, I said spike, pike, which is a, I guess like a. Uh, am I bugging? Ain't the pike the spear? Yeah, I think they spelled that. I think they did that wrong on the trailer. But yeah, ogre bones, um, pike, which is the spear. I don't know why they said old adventurous spear. Unless I'm bugging, it might just be two different ones. We gonna find out though um you got the iron blade um which drops from the ogre is like the ogre bone um, bone iron blade ogre bone ogre hide greater soul fragment and soul of valor you get from him and then venom venom which is located over if you go straight down this way you'll find venom venom drops the azure diamond chris ring and then the greater soul fragment for those people that just be trying to like you know farm soul fragments and wondering which boss drops them this also helps you you know figure out what drops boss has and you can go and this is where you find him he drops these rings right here that are on my finger you can get up to three equip them all three of them on on one finger you know etc etc i don't know why this guy hit me do not want to smoke bro i promise you and now we're gonna go towards the yetis now yetis huh yetis 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 um in the yeti zone you can't really fly you have to walk yetis are located you go from the venom straight down this way you can follow the video if you want you're gonna make a turn over here just gotta get out of combat i don't know why i'm still in combat like combat just be lasting for too damn long bro uh, especially if it's an npc i feel like it should be lower um you want to come over here you as you can see him he's in the distance over there just want to keep walking straight and you'll run into him all right for oh i said ogres for yetis yetis drop yeti horn spear sword hammer staff they also drop they also drop yeti fur horn and then the soul of valor 
which I don't know if it's, if it's a title or if it's an item. So y'all can let me know that in the comments down below. And I'll have all these items pinned with their stats if y'all interested. But this is Yeti and those are the things that it has a chance to drop. And yes, they also have a stun that can stun you for three years and it has a ridiculous range. All right, now we're on to the next. Red drops. Red, red is the the fish guy that's located in the desert area. So we're gonna go ahead and reset. Y'all can go ahead and reset. Y'all can spawn at the no name village. When y'all spawn at the no name, no no name village, no name village. He drops this axe and then he also drops this um this um medallion. It's called Lesser Fire Resistance Meda uh, Amulet. So he's located over here around this area. He's located over here around this area. He spawns, it's a giant fish. I'll show y'all a picture of it. it. Spawns right here. Um. Also, what we have next, the Desert Claw, the Desert Claw, Um, which is the Scorpions. The Scorpions, they drop the Desert Claw Hoops, Hearings, which is on screen right here with the stats. Also drops Sword, um, the sword, spear, staff, hammer. They also drop armor and the soul of fortitude. Now the alpha, ooh, the alpha scorpion. The way you summon the alpha scorpion, you tell the difference. See, he's he's gonna be like all black. This is a picture of what it looks like. It's gonna be all black. You have to continuously kill all these scorpions until it spawns. And the alpha scorpion just gives you a better upgrade of what you already have. Alpha alpha scorpion drops hammer, spear. Um, sword, staff, and armor, and that's about it. And now for the stone guardians, stone guardians, which I don't remember where they are. They're supposed to be in the tundra, but I don't, I don't, I said tundra. They're supposed to be located down here, but I find it very hard to find them unless, you know, you got to kill some, some, some of these newbies. Ooh. I thought the stone guardians were something else. Okay, okay, okay. My fault. I feel stupid. Cause I could have sworn it was two different versions. Unless he removed it and just named them stone guardians. All right, cool. Stone guardians. They drop um, the stone guardian spear, sword, staff, and then a fragment, and then the soul of fortitude, which is that's what they drop. And then next up we have apex. Apex. How do you summon him? You have to be level um, 250. That's the requirement. You have to gain threat from just killing bosses. You can kill Venom, you can kill Alpha Wolf, you can kill um, Ogre. As long as it's a world boss, you, you're straight. He drops his um, Divine Nullifier. And while we're down here, we might as well you know, make a pit stop to where he is. He's supposed to be somewhere around this little area. There he is. You just want to come around here and then if you get his tokens you can go ahead and talk to him and buy you know majority of his stuff like um which one is it divine nullifier which is this weapon that's on the side of him i have it on on, on the screen also uh the forsaken title which gives you um a, a thousand health and i think a hundred percent mana drain which is a little insane you get the shroud of the strongest which is the armor um, and then Apex Tokens, which is what you need to talk to him to get those other three items. And now on to the next. On to the next. Now we got Raid Bosses. World Events. And Events, when I, when I say World Events, it will appear like right down here. Like you see how it has Events right here. The Bandit Lord has been defeated. The Bandit Lord, he spawns over here. The Bandit Lord, whenever you see it appears and it says Bandit Lord spawn, he'll spawn right here. He also drop a chest. These chests is what you get the the runes from. We will need up to like four runes. And then the one that says the the Grasslands Lord has spawned, he spawns right here. He also drops two chests, which you have a higher chance of getting um, runes from. Once you get enough runes, you can come right down this way. There's going to be a stone that you can activate right here. And then you, you need the stone. Um, the runes that you need is you need um, Earth, Tempest, Wrath, and Challenge. So once you get all four of those, you can do that. I think that one was Wrath. I think the one that I'm going to now is Challenge. Is Challenge. It, this one right here, somebody already activated it. That's why it's glowing. And then once you go down this way, turn, it should go straight. 
go straight down this way, pass through these trees. I know I'm flying weird. Also, Excalibur is down that way for those of y'all that were wondering. Pass through here. Yeah, I basically want to go towards the castle, Clover Capital. And then y'all find Earth over here. And then I think last but not least, um, it would be Tempest. Tempest would be over there. It's either Tempest or Challenge. I think the other one was Tempest and this one is Challenge. And then Challenge would be like right behind the Golem boss thing. And then once you have all these activated and all these are glowing, the portal shall open. They only need one more, which is Raph. And then once this opens, you're able to go inside and the boss drops the boss drops a few couple of things. So the boss itself drops the ether stones um, soil and he drops the mono wielder title and he drops the ether blade. The ether blade, you could only get it if the boss is corrupted. Only if it's corrupted, you get the, the blade. And then from the chest, you have a chance of getting the ether stone halberd, which is a, I don't know, it's like a ax thing. I have it on screen for y'all. Uh, mono crystals, a greater mono crystals, and supreme mono crystals. Now you need these for upgrading your weapons, but we'll we'll have like a whole like weapon guide video if y'all want to like do that, upgrading your weapons, crafting, and all this extra stuff. If y'all want to get into like weapons and all those fancy details, we'll have that. Comment it down below if y'all want to see that. Um, and then on to the next, we got the Medusa raid. The Medusa raid is located over here, so you just want to go through the village. There's only two raids and one dungeon. Yeah, two raids, one dungeon. I don't know what you would consider the gauntlet, but I don't know what the, I would say it's like a wave type thing, so. So once you get over here, you wanna go up here, bop, pass over here, through here, over here, over, under, and keep going. Y'all can like stop it and, you know, try to figure it out. And then once I get through here, bro, y'all want to interact with the door and then y'all start the Medusa raid. And if y'all want to see a Medusa boss fight, comment it down below. I'll just go ahead and, you know, record that for y'all. But um, what does Medusa drop? She drops the Gorgon Spear, Hammer, Earrings, and Tokens. Tokens which you can use to get those other items from her. So, you know, we have them on screen with their stats. There you go. And now for the dungeon the capital dungeon siege so you just want to get out of here obviously majority of y'all probably not going to be doing it the way i am so if y'all are looking for this one y'all just gonna have i'm just gonna fly back to the unknown village unknown village which is located over here perfect exacto mundo unknown name village you're gonna start i don't know just start off Start off right here, right? Start off right here, just cut through the village. Cut through the village. And then I just wanna fly up as high as y'all can. And then y'all find y'all find the capital. Once y'all find the capital, y'all just wanna go straight through the capital. Cause what y'all really want, the guy that's located is he's located over there. Da 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 da. Wait, no, no, I went past him. He's located right here. So this is the guy that does the dungeon. It's the only dungeon within the game. So, you know, y'all can have fun. The dungeon drops the lab coat. So that white coat y'all be seeing me wear sometimes. Um, the blighted um, lieutenant's pauldrons. Clover, um, Clover Gord, uh, lieutenant pauldrons. I don't know, I gotta say the full name. Clover Guard, Lieutenant Helmet, and then you got the Clover Knight Pauldrons and the Clover Knight Helmet, and then you got the Ooze Blade, which also drops from the, um, the dungeons. It's a pretty decent amount of drops. And then now we got the the Gauntlets. So the Gauntlets, the Grimoire Gauntlet. So this one is located back at the desert area, so we're gonna go fly back there right now. For those of y'all that were wondering. Whew. Here we go, so damn hot, bruh. And then this will be the end of the video here. How long did it take us? Oh, wow. Not even 20 minutes. We done explained everything in less than 20 minutes. All the drops and everything. Noise. Noise, 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 noise. 
So you want to get over here. Once you get through this little spot right here, yeah, you might want to fly up. Or you can always go through there also. It doesn't matter. But I'm pretty sure everybody's going to have a broom. So I just want to go ahead and do that. And then once you get over here, bro, you just want to make a right. And then you want to make a left. When you see these rooms, this is where we was before. And then we said we are end up video. This is going to be the last spot. And I have majority of the new items on me. So this is where you get it. You go talk to Limpo. Um, and then you get the rocket um, made staff, which works with fire magic. And then you get the crimson uh, majesty's coat, which is what's on my back. You get the coat of revolution, which is what I'm wearing right now, which also if you have the sword, if you have them both equipped at the same time, makes it glow like this. But if you wear it with something else, it won't be glowing like this. Um, it doesn't affect the stats, it just, you know, adds more effect to it. Um, found, um, founding Gentleman's Coat, which is, you get it from here also. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Eagle's Talons, which is this blade right here. And that's about all the drops within the game. Now, make sure I leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below if this video helped you out. And yes, I ranked them from, you know, the weakest drops to the best drops you can possibly got. Yes, I got. You get um, from, you know, boss drops to raids to dungeons. Dungeons, you know, only have one. So those are the strongest drops you can get from dungeons, the strongest drops you can get from raids. And then the world bosses, I went from weakest to strongest. So it'd be easier for y'all. But brush your heads, take care. I'll catch y'all in the next video, bro. Let me know what y'all want to see in the comments down below. It took me a dumb amount of time to get gather all this information. So, you know, make sure I show some love. And I'll say it again. Brush your heads, take care. Eek out.